With the Mississauga Steelheads Pink at the Rink game in support of the Canadian Cancer Society coming up on Sunday, January the 27th, we sat down with James Hardy in the Mississauga video room and watched his mom, Sonia, share her story. So James was playing for the Barry Jr. Colts when you got the diagnosis. Uh, I've only been, uh, it's only been a year for me. Okay. So he was a minor midget, okay. um, so his draft year. So my biggest concern about telling James <clears throat> I didn't want it to affect his performance on the ice and his ability of getting drafted. I remember sitting around the dining room table and had that, you know, hard conversation. Obviously, they started to cry, and um, I held it together as best as I could. <laughs> I mean, it definitely hit me hard when she uh, told us that her that she had had breast cancer. Maybe my sister sitting there going out in tears. But I just thought to myself, the best that she would want for me is to succeed in hockey. So I'm going to keep doing what I do and play hockey and try and focus on that. We decided that we were going to tell um, his coaches um, so that... Oh, just a heads up. Like, we yeah, called the with coaching staff and they're like, they want to see us, what's going on. So we went in and basically just broke the news, came right out and just told them. And it was just because of that, that if James's game starts to go sideways, this is why. But in hindsight, with his group of friends on that team, it actually took his mind off of it. Mm -hmm. So they all started with the pink tape and the pink decals and then the pink laces. And it just grew. The whole team bought into it. The coaches are wearing pink toques. And one thing led to another, and all of a sudden, we're hosting the pink in the rink game. And I said, guys, don't go out of your way. We don't want any of that going on. Like, we just, let's keep it normal. My parents, especially my mom, did everything in their power to not allow what was happening to affect me in a negative way. Our family went through a hard time last year but you would never have noticed it because my mom's strength through all it all was unbelievable. I knew what I had to do on the ice. She would not have wanted anything else for me to concentrate on hockey in school. I just made sure to ask her every day, how, how are you? Her answer was the same every day, I'm fine. Now have a good day at school or have a good day at practice. The surgery gets scheduled. Yes. Um, and you know that the game is the next day. What goes into that decision? And Steve, what was your take on, on her wanting to be at the ring the day after? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, but not shocked because I know the fighter in her, she wanted to be there with the boys. She had to be there. She came, we found her seat in the back behind the glass. We have a lot of friends on that team. So at the end of that game, when all the kids had gone off the ice, our whole team had left, the equipment was all gone. We found ourselves standing in the middle of the lobby at St. Andrews College. And all of a sudden the parents were building, building a circle around us. And now out comes Carson Burlington, Quentin Byfield, Ty Collins, all these guys that we know personally, but then the rest of the team's behind them in their suits and hugging Sonia, myself, and James. But the whole team doesn't know Sonia, they just know it's James's mom. And I was bawling. I had nothing to say. <laughs> it was uh, touching, for sure. I'll never forget. You know, I was worried up until that point, although I knew he was doing really well and I didn't really notice too many differences. You know, every once in a while he would ask me a question, you know, and, and he's not one to, uh, you know, want to know complete details. He just wants to know, was I okay? Yeah, you know? His game and didn't really change. When, like I said, the rink seemed to be his out, like he got to be with his yeah. boys. And as tight as they were, it just took his mind away from what's going on at home. Yeah. And they we're lucky. He could have went the other way, but he just flew the other way. So. As we know, James went on to be drafted eighth overall to the Steelheads and is now getting ready to play in his first OHL pink at the rink game. But the key message remains the same. Breast cancer awareness is important to me, and after it hit our family, it became even more important. We need to make everyone aware of what a serious disease it is and how it can happen to anyone like my mom. Please continue to support breast cancer awareness programs and help us end this disease. It would be horrible if somebody didn't go get checked, you know, every two years. And when you go finally go on that fourth year, it's too late or your, your deal now is more so. It's something that I've dealt with and I don't want it again. <laughs> so I got to keep going. You know? Well, thank you so much for sharing your family's story. And uh, I'm sure James will be dedicating another Pink at the Rink game to you. And the whole hockey family in Mississauga will also be thinking of you. Thank you so much.